Hello everybody and today is a very exciting day for AI art and diffusion. Um, just yesterday they released stable diffusion to the masses and there's there is a notebook that I have a link to down below that will allow you to save it to your Google Drive and we're going to go ahead and get started here and get right into it. You're going to be able to make batch images and all kinds of cool stuff here. So the first thing you will need to do is go to this page, Hugging Face. Co, and you'll need to set up a user account which is free and I actually I've used this page a lot but I haven't really used uh, I just made the user account for this so what you'll need to do after you make the user account you'll need to go here to settings in your profile and then click on this section here access tokens and this is just something you need to create to use the notebook that's listed there in the links as well and I don't know how long we're going to need to use this um, I, I have no idea on that but to get this up and running right now, it's not that hard, but it it does take a few steps. So first thing we'll need to do here is click on this access token. And then you'll just create an access token. Just hit new token like this. And then you just hit what it's for, read and write. So I've already done that. And I've make a write token. And that's all you really need to do for now at Hugging Space here. So we'll now go ahead and copy this once you've done this. Or you can go ahead, go a little further in the tutorial if you want, and just come back here when you're to this step. But we're going to go ahead now and open up the Stable Diffusion Notebook. Okay, and if you'll just follow that link, we can go open our notebook now. And this was provided by Vincent Van AI on Twitter. So it's just a slightly modified version of the official Stable Diffusion Notebook. But we're going to go ahead now and get started here. So the first thing we'll do is we're going to go ahead and set up here. We're just going to go down and click, and a lot of this will be pretty familiar if you've been using Disco Diffusion. Okay, and we're just going to keep on going down the line here. Okay, and then I just started running this to connect it to my Google Drive. And we're going to go ahead now and just keep going down the line and running it. And then it'll be this section down here when we will need to use that um, Hugging Face token. So this will take a little bit for these to load up, for all the models and everything to load up, and we'll come and check back when it's done. Okay, and we're going to go ahead now and run this next section here. And here we go, and this is where we will need to copy and paste that access token here. Okay, and we just paste it in right here. Log in, and there we go. We have successfully logged on. And now we're going to go ahead and run this next section. And that's pretty much really, that's all the work here for this. This is a really simple to use notebook here. We're not going to have any settings really except for the prompt and the resolution, I believe. And the batches, that kind of thing. So I'll get into that a little bit and we'll do a couple of renders here. After this is done, we'll get to that part. I'll go ahead and check back when this is done. But you just let this all run and then we'll be pretty much good to go. Okay, and that section is done loading up here. And now we're just going to run this one here. And then we're, we're going to be right on to creating here really soon. So one thing to keep in mind here is that you'll want to change this batch name every time you do something. So I've just been doing EXP like experiment because it will overwrite all your old batches. And basically the only thing we have here is our prompt, our resolution, and our steps, and the number of images for our batches. So 250 steps is actually the maximum steps you can do in this if you try to do... Um, I'm not sure you might be able to do 252, but I try to do 260 and up, you get an error. And you can change the resolution. If you do do it higher, though, than 512 by 512, you will get multiple renders. And I'll go ahead and show you a couple of samples here. And really, that's all there is to it. This is now going to save it to our Google Drive like normal under our batch name. It'll be under Stable Diffusion instead of Disco Diffusion. But let's go ahead and just start up a prompt here. And I'm going to go ahead and pick a good one here. Okay, and I'm going to start here with one of my kind of signature uh, prompts here. This was kind of the first prompt that I really liked is these ocean kind of scenes with big buildings and crazy structures on it. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do five images of this. So we just have our batch name here. And again, if you use the same batch name and then you do another run, it will overwrite all the files you made if you don't change this name. So I'd recommend um, kind of getting in the habit now of changing this because that is something that's different from Disco Diffusion that we're used to. Disco Diffusion would just keep rendering new images, but this will overwrite them. So if I, if I do five images and run this again, it's going to overwrite the previous five images I did. So, so that's why I've been numbering these. And you can see I've been doing quite a lot of experimenting 
I really love this. This is really fun and kind of, you know, a, a lot of new stuff to try here. And all the old prompts, too, are working good. They're different. They're Some of them just look fantastic. And I'll post a few of those. But I'm going to be doing some experimenting later. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and run it. And then we'll come and check back when these are done. So it won't show us the images as they're being created. It's going to go ahead and save them in our Google Drive folder right there. And again, I have the Mac steps here and um, you know the resolution and the prompt that's really all we're doing here with this notebook so it's really easy to use compared to disco so you are all more than prepared for this now with the disco diffusion and it looks like about the first image is done so i'll go ahead and check back when this is done and then i'll show them to you and this tutorial is going to be really quick really brief just to get you up and running with stable diffusion as quickly as possible and i will of course be posting some of my own experimentation with it Okay, and the renders are winding down now. And if you see, this makes really coherent images. And we can put things like lightning in the sky now, and it'll actually kind of do that, you know, like how we want it. It'll look more natural and everything. So we don't have to tweak with the prompt as much. You can see this isn't really a very complicated prompt. But the main purpose of this tutorial is just to show you how, how to generate that access token on Hugging Face and just put the links to the notebook and everything so you guys can get out there and make some cool AI images with stable diffusion, which is, uh, it's really great. You know, I, I can't even imagine what this stuff's going to be like in a couple years, but I'm really excited and I will stay with all the iterations. And as far as the future of disco diffusion goes, I don't know. I don't know if um, I'm still going to use it for now. For one thing, you still can't make videos on this. And it also still does give you a lot of extra settings, but at the same time, um, stable diffusion, you know, the results speak for itself the images are just amazing so i'm going to stick with this and keep on top of everything and later on there's a lot more to this notebook too where it shows some samples of um, at the end here where you can do a few more settings but overall though it's um it still is kind of limited like at the end here it does show you you can run all this but for now i just kind of wanted to get you up and running on this and i'll experiment with some of these other settings and what's in here later and post some videos on that. So thank you for watching. Very exciting day here.